Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a UFO? We can't figure it out. A viewer reaching out saw these large bright lights in the skies over the strip in downtown. He says they're bigger than the helicopters we see circling uh, many, many times. And we just heard back from Nellis. They say not involved in this. So if you think you know what these are, or you've seen these, you can reach out. Let us know right on our website, adusnow.com. Top story there. At this stage, the rocket was traveling between 11 and 14,000 miles per hour when a saucer-shaped craft entered the frame. It flew into the frame like this, and it shot a beam of light at the warhead. Now, remember, all this stuff is flying at several thousand miles an hour. So this thing fires a beam of light at the warhead, hits it, fires another beam of light, and then flies out the way it came in. And the warhead tumbles out of, the, out of space. And when the lights came on, Major Mansman turned around and looked at me and said, were you guys screwing around up there? And I said, no, sir. And he said, what was that? And I said, it looks to me like we got a UFO. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. First thing I want to say, those are angels in the so-called UFOs, not aliens. Angels, not aliens. Which the word alien itself simply means foreign. But I'm just letting you know, they're not little green men from Mars. Those are the angels of the Heavenly Father, man. And they've been demonized by this damn devil, Esau Edom. By way of his media, by way of popular culture, you know, different movies and television series. They're depicting the angels, these little green men from Mars with big heads. When the angels are actually, you know, big, tall, strong, so-called black men. You know, with big afros and big beards. They're well white. Which the angels, they can manifest and look like anyone if they want to. You know, scripts speak about angels unawares, you know, angels in disguise. But, you know, when we go by the primary look they take upon, according to the Holy Scriptures, Ezekiel, the first chapter, tells us the angels, when they appear like a man, they look like so-called black men. Tells you how their feet is shine like unto color of polished brass. It's like polished brass. They're dark skin. The angels are dark skin entities. Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, for they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Starting your business is exciting.
first and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, Kankadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations to the hopeful that got there pushing this word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shout out to the hopeful that the believers, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, and what I want to get into, all right, this evening is dealing, you know, with Toby, the 13th chapter, you know, the second to the last chapter of the book, you know, and there to be the completion, you know, of Toby, the fourth, uh, the, the book of Toby. And um, in this chapter, all right, pretty much um, Tobias, the son of Toby, you know, has went and got, you know, his, uh, a wife, you know, from their kinsmen, all right, their tribesmen, Naphtali, okay. And um, he gets the wife, gets the inheritance from the father, and now has made it home to his father, to Tobit. Okay, and the and the, and the angel reveals that he's an angel. You know, Raphi, um, Raphael or uh, Rapaya Allah in the Hebrew, which is Hilo of the Most High. And um, uh, now we to the point where now he, Tobit is just in the spirit. You know, he's going to begin to just prophesy about the kingdom, you know, because you're going to, you know, that whole book, you know, Tobias, all right, his son went to go get an inheritance, you know, and the sons of the Most High, we're on the journey to get our inheritance, man. And the ultimate inheritance is the kingdom of, of what they call the kingdom of God. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, we're going to go into that. Okay, the kingdom of God, what does that mean? All right, and Lord will, you know, this is edifying. So I want to start in the book of Tobit. We read the first two verses, and then we'll go into breaking down the kingdom of God. You know, and I can see that it, um, it looked like a shadow band. I don't know. Did anybody get a notification? I know it's not probably, probably not that many brothers and sisters on. You know, but it seemed like a notification didn't go out. Uh, it's all good. Um, still get this. Let me share it out one more time. Con, yeah. Yeah, like they shadow band, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, a little way I repost to the other channels, you know, we're going to roll with what we got, all right, now, so let's get straight to it, you know, um, so we start off here in the book of Tobit, the 13th chapter, all right, so this is the book of Tobit, Chapter 13, verse 1. It said, Then Tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing. Okay? So Tobit, we're finna see Tobit is in the spirit. The Lord put a prophetic spirit on Tobit. Okay? He began to preach. All right? Which is pre, is to, uh, it means before. Okay? And chur means to say or to proclaim. Okay? So he, be, he, he began to preach. <laughs> he, he, he turned into a preacher or a prophet. I was like, it said, then Toby wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said, Blessed be the power that liveth forever, and blessed be his kingdom. Okay, blessed be the most high God that liveth forever, and blessed be his kingdom. Now, I want to just break down the kingdom of the most high. Okay, now to understand that, let's go. And to who has the kingdom right now, which is Esau Edom. Okay? So let's go from there. Let's share this. Let's get this in the blue dog. Okay, so when you go to the book of Luke, and this is when Howard Shah was tempted. Okay. Satan came to him with uh, uh temptation. All right, this is the book of Luke, chapter four, verse one, and Howard Shah being full of the Holy Spirit returning from Jordan and was led by the spirit into the wilderness being 40 days tempted of the devil 
And in those days, he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the son of the Most High, command this stone that it should be made bread. And how shall I answer him? Said it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but every word of the Most High. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world at a moment. So now, all right, Satan is showing you how shot the kingdoms, all right, of the world. You know, every every kingdom, you know, you had the Roman Empire, you know, you had you know, certain other heathens, you know, they had empires at the time, you know, and then he showed them the, 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 the kingdoms to come. Okay. So he's showing them what kingdoms. All right, but these are kingdoms of the heathens, which all the heathens they rule. All right, in the in the fashion under Satan. All right, and he saw Edom. He just the child of Satan, so he's more tapped into Satan than any of these other heathens, man. Okay, so just as we're the children of the Most High, okay, and and we come in the energy of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Well, Esau comes in the energy of Satan, and these heathens come in the energy of Satan. That's why. The, the devil, as you read, it says, and the devil taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. Okay, so that's why all these heathens, they are into their idolatry. There's, there's pretty much Satanism, man. Okay, the ancient Egyptian empire, the uh, uh, Neo Babylonian Empire, okay, the ancient Babylonian Empire, they was all you know into witchcraft and Satanism, okay. They was forwarding the 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 the, the uh, uh uh um they was forwarding what Satan's energy in the earth, you know, because king going to a king's domain. Well, under these heathens, all right, the kingdoms of the earth are under the dominion. Of Satan, okay. <laughs> That's why the earth is what given into the hand of the wicked, the kingdom, because the the earth is is land, okay. So, to understand the kingdom of the Most High, okay, it's easy to understand when you understand the kingdom of Satan that's ran by these heathens. So, if the if the kingdom of Satan ran by these heathens, push what the dominion of Satan in the earth. The kingdom of the Most High is going to forward what? The, the, the standard of Yahweh by Shema Shai and righteousness in the earth. Okay? So let's go from there. Get that in um second Thessalonians. Okay, and then we'll expound on the on the kingdom of the most high. This second Thessalonians 2. Okay, and all right, I started at eight. Well, I started at seven, said for the mystery of iniquity doth already work, you know, which were the heat of my Romans. All right, because that was a satanic empire, man. Because all this pagan worship and idolatry is nothing but a form of Satanism. Okay, different nations, you know, different heathens have different names for these different deities, but it's all rooted in Satanism. Okay, and them Hamites was the first ones to really go into the, the, the satanic, all right, worship, man, and rituals. Okay, that's why they had the child sacrifice and, you know, the, the homosexuality, you know, all that is, is, is rooted, okay, in uh, uh, Satanism, man. It said, only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. All right. That uh, uh that Baphomet, you know, spirit. That's why you see, you know, the transformer, all right, being pushed, you know, and just running rampant in the earth, man, because this is Satan, this is Satan's okay, empire, man. You know, being ran through Esau Edom. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness. I shall destroy the brightness of his coming. Okay? So now, as the wicked has been revealed, 
and what's being preached a righteous kingdom through the prophets okay and how shy is coming all right in his brightness and in, in those chariots and that power to destroy okay this satanic kingdom at his coming <laughs> you see we're, we're we're teaching the kingdom of light esau runs the kingdom of darkness man all right with the kingdom of the most high is of light even him who's coming is after the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders okay so esau comes in the energy or the working of satan all right esau is is, is, is the uh, nation that runs the earth all right under the energy of satan this is satan's kingdom okay but guess what the kingdom of the most high is yet to come all right that's why when Yahweh Shah was teaching okay what was Yahweh Shah teaching matter of fact yep this is um mark chapter 1 verse 14 it says now after that john was put in prison Yahweh Shah came to galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of the most high and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of the most high is at hand repent ye and believe the gospel so you shy is speaking of the kingdom of the most high that is at hand okay and see the kingdom has been given to you shy because he completed that mission okay so when you go to um when you go here this is after the resurrection when you how shy completed you know what he was set out to do okay he was rewarded with everything all right so this is after the resurrection okay this is um matthew 28 and 18 it says and yahweh shah came and spake unto them saying all power okay is given unto me in heaven and in earth so everything was given to yahweh shah and he's still under you know the authority of his father but his father granted him authority over everything man okay so the kingdom to come is going to be the kingdom of the most high being ran through yahweh shah this is what we're going to be joint heirs of the kingdom of the most high okay through yahweh shah so let's go here let's get colossians one okay Colossians 1 and 11 well I started at 12 it says giving thanks unto the father which have made us meet or worthy okay because the Lord has put his spirit on you know his elect that's making us meet Lord will we of their number you know it's making us meet or worthy to be partakers okay of the inheritance which is the kingdom okay which is the rulership to come in the kingdom of God the kingdom of the most high okay it says to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints and light who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son okay <laughs> the kingdom of who his dear son yahweh shot okay so we've been removed from the power of darkness which is this satanic kingdom we're, we're, we're being spiritually removed okay we've been set free all right from the powers of darkness man to where these things don't have dominion over us anymore we're still physically in this satanic kingdom but spiritually it doesn't have dominion over us anymore man okay and that's why we thirst and we wait for the kingdom of yahweh shah okay when everyone will have to be subjugated to righteousness all right let's get that in daniel you know then we get that in uh, uh isaiah okay so let's go here to the book of um daniel all right this daniel chapter seven and, you know we, we we always go into these things you know but we just hammering the understanding of these things man so we can hey we in time where hey all we're gonna have is faith so it's very important to understand what do we have faith in okay this is Daniel 7 and 13. It says, I saw in the night vision and beheld one like the Son of Man, okay, came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him 
near before him. So this is Yahweh Shah being brought to the Father. And what was given to him? Okay. Remember the kingdom of his dear son. And there was giving him dominion. Okay. A kingdom is a king's domain. What a king is the land and the, and the subjects and the people that the king has dominion over. Okay. It says, and there was giving him dominion and glory and a kingdom. Okay. That all people, nations, and languages should serve him. Just like now, Esau has all people and kindreds serving him. Okay. Under Satan. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away and his kingdom that we shall not be destroyed. So this is an everlasting kingdom. Okay? And in it, the influence of righteousness is going to dominate the earth. Okay? The earth is going to be conformed to righteousness, man. All right? So let's go um, to Isaiah um, chapter 2. Okay? It said the word this is Isaiah 2 and 1. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And this shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. Okay. You see that? Nations are going to flow unto the government that was these mountains of Israel. And what goes forth from government? The law, the standard, the decrees. Okay, there's gonna be a government of kings, all right, headed by Yahweh Shah, and under him King David. Okay, the rest of the twelve and the and the first fruit. Okay, everyone is gonna have their order to what to afford the righteousness of the Most High in the earth. Okay, and it says that many people shall go and say, "Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Yahweh." To the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways, just as Esau has taught these nations what Satanism. Okay, rebellion against righteous, because this whole thing of liberty is, is is liberation. All right, from righteousness, man. You know, when Esau pushes liberty, you know he, he loves to push, you know, uh, uh, liberty, shove liberty down your throat, and freedom. What is the freedom? All right, to be under the order of Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. That's what he's offering in his satanic kingdom. Okay, but in the kingdom, nah, man, the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai, that's going to be the standard. So the kingdom of the Most High is the, the Most High's righteous influence dominating the earth. All right, that's why Yahweh Shai is going to what? Establish what? The throne of David, because that's when the laws of the Most High was established, was the standard in the earth under King David. And King Solomon, man. Okay, it says, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Okay, <laughs> you see that? So just as now we read this verse four, he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares. Okay, you no, know, these nations will not have militaries in our kingdom man okay that, that the world war three will be the, the the last war okay israel will have all the power okay to enforce righteousness man it says in their spears and to pruning hooks nations shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn war anymore okay that's under the kingdom of the most high and that's why you have shot is known as what the uh the prince of peace okay because through war he's going to be bring peace to the earth man okay first to the nation of israel then eventually these heathens excluding esau edom who's going to be done away with they will be able to enjoy all right a kingdom of peace you know they're still going to be simple and have to be judged they're not going to have the law within them they're not going to be immortal okay but they're going to be on a righteous standard okay now let's um go back to the book of tobit all right this is the book of tobit chapter 13 verse 2 says 
I started at one again. It said, then Toby wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said, blessed be the power that live forever and blessed be his kingdom. Okay. For he, though scourge and have mercy, he leadeth down to hell and bring it up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Okay. And this, and this is speaking of the narrative of Israel. Okay. <laughs> this is speaking of our narrative, man, because we as a nation, We'll always catch a hell okay but then the lord will have mercy we will catch hell you know then the lord will show mercy you know so this time he just he just sent us way across the other side of the earth man all right and we was wounded <laughs> all right by our enemy man okay so let's go from there okay Cause that's how the Lord deals. They're chastising, man. But see, this is the last time we will have to go through chastising, man. You know, we're going to be made perfect after this captivity, man. Okay? Well, that's the narrative of Israel. us being wounded as a nation. You know, and then eventually the Lord having mercy, man. All right? This is Hosea 6 and 1. It says, Come and let us return unto the Lord, repentance, for he have torn and he will heal us he has smitten and he will bind us up. Okay, now when the time that what the elect are being bound up, man, we've been torn and smitten. Okay, in this last captivity under this devil, Esau Edom. All right, but now the, the Lord is binding us up with his word. Okay, and then when, when we're changed, we're going to be physically, you know, healed, man, you know, for the trauma and the defilements of this uh, kingdom, man okay so now we're in the phase of restoration man because we've been bruised we're healing you know from a hey, the ass whooping that the most i put on us man for our disobedience now we're in the healing healing phase the elect are in the healing phase man okay so let's go back um to the book of toby all right 13. All right. It's the book of Tobit, chapter 13, verse 2. It said, For he doth scourge and have mercy, he lead it down to hell and bring it up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Okay? <laughs> there, there's no one that can be delivered, all right, from his wrath, man. You know? And we're finna see that on a major scale with how he handles Esau, man, because esau and, and in the minds of masses esau is above judgment man okay but well, the lord is finna show that he's not <laughs> that esau is not out of reach okay he said confess him all right before the gentiles ye children of israel for he has scattered us among them okay so we was told to confess him amongst the gentiles why because we were scattered amongst them but it says ye children of israel it was always spoken it was always spoken of that we will be scattered so let's get this okay let's get a few precepts on it okay it's the book of ezekiel chapter all right 11 16. All right, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 11, verse 16. It said, Therefore, say, thus saith the Lord, all right, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, although I have cast them far off from among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the country where they shall come. And this is why you see what? These camps everywhere, man. These are little sanctuaries that the Lord has set up for his people that are scattered throughout the earth, man. You know? So these camps are there and scattered throughout the earth, mainly here in America, but they're all over the... They, 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 these camps are all over the earth, man. Teaching his word, pushing your house shot. Okay? Which, what the scriptures say, Shiloh shall be the gathering of the people, man, which is your house shot. Okay? So we're being gathered by this word okay he said therefore say thus said the lord i will even gather you from the people all right who amongst the heathen 
and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered and i will give you the land of israel okay so the narrative was that you know we will be scattered but we there will also be a gathering you know that, that's the that's a repetitive narrative in the scriptures us being scattered okay but gathered eventually man through mercy man that's why our lord has gave, given us the spirit of repentance i believe it's one in nehemiah look at the book of nehemiah chapter one okay and six i started at six nehemiah one and six it said let thine ear now be attentive and thy eyes open that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant which i pray before thee now day and night for the children of israel thy servants and confess the sins of the children of israel which have sinned against thee both i and my father's house have sinned we have dealt very corruptly against thee and have not kept the commandments nor the statutes nor the judgment in which thou commandest thy servant moses remember i beseech thee the word that thou commandest thy servant moses saying if ye transgress i will scatter you abroad among the nations all right so you see that same theme and narrative okay but if you it says but if ye turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost parts of heaven in a whole nother atmosphere in a whole nother hemisphere man okay yet will i gather them from thence and will bring them unto the place that i have chosen to set my name there which is israel okay <laughs> you see that so you see that continual narrative of us you know prophesied to be scattered but also prophesied to be gathered to what to establish the kingdom of god in the earth the kingdom of the most high the kingdom of yahweh by shema Shai. That's why I said, let it be done on earth and it is in heaven. Okay? Israel is their chosen nation to enforce, all right, the standard of Yahweh by Shema Shah in the earth. Okay? Let's go there. Let's get Jeremiah. I believe it's 31. All right. All right, in Jeremiah 31. And um 10. Yep, it says, Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare in the isle of far off, man. You see? So the word of the Lord will reach to all nations, man. Even the isles. Our people are in the islands. You know, we got camp in Australia, camp in Jamaica. I think I think I believe it's a camp of Trinidad okay <laughs> in the aisles man <laughs> you see the word is, is going throughout the earth and it says oh ye nation and declare in the aisles afar off and say he that scatter israel will gather him and keep him as a shepherd though to his flock for the lord have redeemed jacob and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he okay from the hand of him that was stronger than thee you see <laughs> and who was that man esau Eden, which esau Eden runs what the the, the kingdom of satan man <laughs> okay but yahweh shines is ushering in his kingdom you know and we're we're the heralds and the forerunners man you know and this is why this is the good news man that our kingdom the kingdom of the most high our power the kingdom of yahweh by shimmy al shah which is our power is set to come okay we're in that transition okay so let's go um from there let's go back to tobit let's go back to the book of tobit all right so i say toby it's a it's a heavy spirit on toby you know in this chapter man okay toby was a prophet man <laughs> okay and it says confess him before the gentiles this is back in toby 3 uh, 13 and 3 
It says, confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. There declare his greatness and extol him before all living, for he is our Lord and he is the power of he is the power of our father forever you know and we're and we're making that statement we're making that stand that we're the sons of god we're the children okay of yahweh by shema you know we're his people you know yasha Allah, man sons of the power okay what's what let's get that real quick in uh hosea one and ten you know we'll go back all right but this is the book of um hosea chapter one all right, verse 10. All right, so yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass. And the place, all right, where it was said unto them, you are not my people. And this is all the places of our captivity, mainly here in the Western Hemisphere in the Americas. All right, there it shall be said unto them, you are the sons of the living power. Okay, he is our father forever. We're making that claim now. Okay, and the spirit bear witness. All right, that we are the sons of God, man. Okay, so going back, this is um, back in Tobit 13 and 4 says, There declare his greatness and install him um, before all the living, for he is our Lord and he is uh the power all right our father forever and he will scourge us for our iniquities and will have mercy again and will gather us out of all nations among whom he has scattered us man so now we're entering into the time of the lord's mercy man because we've been scourged man okay let's get that um there's a few precepts dealing with that let's go to isaiah all right 60 real quick see now we're in the time of mercy man <laughs> and see and this satanic kingdom is set up all right to keep us in the rebellious okay state against our power man but now nah, the lord put the spirit of obedience upon his hopeful elect man you know because we're in the time of favor now it says, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. You see? So we we witnessed the part of being smitten and torn. Now we're in the part of favor. Now things are finna go go our way, man. Okay. Things are finna go in our favor, man. This transition of, of kingdoms, man. When it's time for a new kingdom to come in power guess what everything goes in their favor man when it was time for esau to come back in power during the renaissance everything went in his favor okay so how much more us man the the, the sons of god the children of god the people of the most high man is it going to go in our favor man okay <laughs> so let's go back the book of tobit All right, Tobit 13 and 5 and says, and he will scourge us for our iniquities and will have mercy again and will gather us out of all nations among whom he has scattered us, man. And then I had to say this another one real quick. Let's get that in uh first Maccabees, uh no second Maccabees seven. Okay, I think this is the youngest son, you know, before you know they put him to death. Okay, he he had made a heavy statement and prophecy as well. okay all right so this is uh second maccabee 7 and 30. it says what well, matter of fact yeah i started at 30 it says while she was yet speaking these words the young man said whom wait ye for i will not obey the king's commandments and see we're going to be in this position man the kings of the earth and their commandments going to be their sea hip man okay and we're going to have to stand on faith, man. 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to go completely against the grain of this kingdom, man. Of this satanic kingdom. Okay, this anti-messiah kingdom, man. Okay, but I will obey the commandments of the law that was given unto the fathers by Moses, and thou that has been the author of all the mischief against the Hebrews shall not escape the hands of the most high. Okay. So this, these devils are known as what? The author of all the mischief against the Hebrews, man. Okay? But they shall not escape the hands of the Most High. It said, for we suffer because of our sins. And though the living power will be angry with us a little while for our chastening and correction, yet shall he be at one again with his servants. Okay? He shall be at one again with his servants, man. And this is the time we're coming into. This is why the Lord has put that spirit of obedience on his people, man. Okay? Beginning with the elect. All right? Because the Lord is going to get ready to show great mercy in the earth for his people, man. Okay? So let's go back to Tobit 13. Let's read verse 6. And it says, if you turn to him with your whole heart, you see, repentance, and with your whole mind and deal uprightly before him, then will he turn unto you. And will not hide his face from you. Therefore, see what he will do with you and confess him with your whole mouth and praise the Lord of might and extol the everlasting king in the land of my captivity. Do I praise him? Okay. And declare his might and majesty to a sinful nation. All right. And, and this is, we're, we're declaring it throughout the, uh, uh, in front of all these nations. Okay, but Israel in this condition is a sinful nation, man. But see, it says, Oh, ye sinners, turn, let you know, it's talking to Israelites, and do justice before him. Who can tell if he will accept you and have mercy on you? Okay, so it begins with the what repentance. All right, let's get this in Zechariah. What does it say? Okay. We had the knowledge, acknowledge we was off, man. It begins with us acknowledging that, man. Okay, let's get Zechariah 1. I want to say, is it verse 2? All right, this is Zechariah 1 and 2. It says, The Lord had been sore displeased with your fathers. Therefore say unto them, Thus said the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, said the Lord, and I will turn unto you. And this is what's happening, man. As we're turning back to our power, He's turning back to us in favor, man. Okay? Said the Lord of hosts. <laughs> you see? Says we turn back into our power. He's turning back unto us. Okay? Let's get that real quick in um, I believe it's Leviticus 26. Start out in verse 40, maybe. All right, this is the book of uh, uh, Leviticus 26, verse 40. It says, if they shall confess the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they trespass against me, and they also they have walked contrary unto me. See, we have to, that's, and that's why, you know, we broke away the traditions of our families, man. Okay? Because it was off, man. The, 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 the religions, you know, of our families, the you know, the, 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 the traditions of, of, of pagan holidays. We broke away from those things, man. Because they had us contrary with our power. Okay? And what did they do? They made him walk contrary unto us, man. And that I have also and, and that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their uncircumcised hearts be humble, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity. All right, and this is our minds being a, a, a circumcised man okay the cutting away of the filth of our minds okay and as we did that what then will i remember my covenant with jacob and also my covenant with isaac and also my covenant with abraham will i remember and will remember the land okay and this is what's happening okay what does it say in uh in the book of Baruch, you see that, that that ancient promise that was made to Abraham. Guess what? It still holds weight today. You see, it, it wasn't no expiration date on that promise, man. You know, 
And we serve a just power who's going to make good on their promise. Okay? So just as Tobit was in the Assyrian captivity, he said, well, he will praise the Lord in his captivity. You know? And we would do the same in this captivity, man, when we were awakened. Okay? This is Baruch 2 and 30. It said, for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. Matter of fact, start at... Um, Started at 28. It says, As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write thy law before the children of Israel, saying, If you will not hear my voice, surely this great multitude be, shall be turned into a small number, okay, among the nation. It also goes into our rank, you know, because Israel is still numerable, but mainly, you know, we, hey, we're, we're small in rank among the nations, man. Okay, now we did, you know, there was genocides and, you know, populations got knocked down, you know, at particular times. All right, but the Lord preserved us, man, but we still have no rank amongst these nations, man. It says, all right, it says, if you would not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. See, that's that same narrative. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Okay? So everyone, every Israelite is in the land of their captivity. Okay? This is Esau's kingdom. So everyone on the earth where we are is our captivity, man. So every Israelite that's awakening, we're all awakening in our captivity, man. Like the brothers in Dallas said uh, this Friday, we woke up in the prison sentence, man. <laughs> okay? It's like being born in prison. You see? And it says, And shall know them the Lord their power. For I give them a heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. And think upon my name. Okay? Let us know. We will get the names back. You know? that's that Because the, hey, those names are needed. Okay? For their access, man. For their intimate relationship with Yahweh Bashim Shai. Those proper names of of Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and his son's name, Yahweh Shai, are mandatory, man. It says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, all right? For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord, okay? And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords over it, man, which is rulers. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people Israel out of the land that I have given them. Okay, and that's going to be the establishing of the kingdom of the Most High in, earth, in the earth, man, under Yahweh Shai. Because how are we going to get back to that land? Yahweh Shai is going to physically come get us. He's going to physically gather us, man. Okay. <laughs> to do what man he's gathered he's going to gather us to establish that kingdom okay so going back to the um, book the book of Tobit alright so as you can see Tobit going in <laughs> alright it says, um, verse 7, it says, I will extol my power, and my soul shall praise the king of heaven and shall rejoice in his greatness. Let all men speak and let all praise him for his righteousness, man. And this is going to happen. Okay? That the authority of Yahweh Shah is going to be established, man. And that's going to be the glory. All right? And it's going to give glory to the Most High. What Yahweh Shah is getting ready to come and do. That's why you go from there. Let's get, let's get a couple. What did you how what did the heavenly father tell you? How shy? All right. When you go to um the book of John, all right, chapter 12. All right, I think it's 28. 
All right, this is um St. John 12 and 27. It says, now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this cause I came unto this hour. Yeah, he, he, he was there to be that sacrifice, Yahweh Shai. Father, glorify thy name. And this is what Yahweh Shai is asking. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. And the Lord is going to glorify his name amongst the heathen. Okay? He's finna make it. That's why it's going to be so much judgment. That's going to be Lord making a name for himself, man. Okay? In the earth. Okay? He's going to get this praise, man. All right? And he's going to get it through judgment. Because what did the scripture say? Um, Psalms 90. I think it's Psalms chapter 9. Verse 16, it said, The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Okay? The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in his own hands. And that's Esau Edom. Esau is snared. You know? You know, he prides himself on setting up traps and being deceptive. You know, the scriptures say he's what? He was a cunning hunter. Okay? He has hunted the souls of men. And putting them under what, man? And chanted them with, with, with Satanism. Okay? But guess what? The, the, the Lord has him in the snare. All right? And it's going to be to his destruction. Said the wicked shall be turned into hell. And that's a condition. Okay? That captivity, hey, that's why, hey we're going to put hell on these devils, man. Okay, they are finna be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget the most high, and there's all these heathen nations because under the Esau Edom, you know, everyone has gotten beside themselves outside the elect, man. Okay, verse 18 for the needy shall not always be forgotten, man. And that's Israel beginning with the elect. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Okay. The Lord is finna play these things out, man. This is the this is the transition that we're in. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Esau is not going to win. He's not going to prevail with his NWO, man, with his schemes and his technology and you know his agenda and all these things that he's think he's going to establish in the earth. Nah, man. Okay, he's not going to accomplish his enterprise. It said, "Let the heathens." Be judged in thy sight, okay? Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. The Lord is finna check the earth, man. He's finna put the earth in check through judgment, okay? And when Yahweh Shai returns, see all this, you know, this slick talk and, you know, this blasphemy and re open rebellion, that's finna be put down, Okay? The Lord is finna establish, Yahweh Shai is about to establish his dominion, man, with great power. Okay? This is uh, the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 9. It said, Wherefore the Most High have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. All right? And, and one of the definitions of name is what? An authority. Okay? And Yahweh Shai has authority that's above every authority, excluding the Most High. Okay, it said that at the name or the authority or the rank, all right, of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, man. Existence will bow to Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, he's going to, hey, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is going to be exalted among the heathen, man, as the scriptures say in uh, Psalms 46. Psalms 46 and 10. All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 46, verse 10. It said, be still and know that I am the most high. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Okay? <laughs> so all we have to do, all right, <laughs> is endure endure it within righteousness man and the lord gonna do what he say he gonna do we just have to endure on our end man okay so let's go back to tobit all 
right back in the book of Tobit, verse 7, it says, I will extol my power, and my soul shall praise the king of heaven, shall rejoice in his greatness. Let all men speak, and let all praise him for his righteousness, okay? O Jerusalem, the holy city, he will scourge thee for thy children's works, and will have mercy again on the sons of the righteous, okay? So at the end of the day, the Lord is still going to have mercy on his people, man. Verse 10, give praise to the Lord for he is good and praise to the everlasting king that his tabernacle may be builded again with joy. Okay, we're the tabernacle now. Okay, the house of David. This is where the Lord is going to dwell and let him make joyful there in thee those that are captives and love it says in love in thee forever those that are miserable okay our misery is what it's going to be turned to joy as the scriptures say okay so when you, uh let's go and get a few precepts you know that expound on those things man okay because at the end of the day the lord's going to have on you like on, like, like uh, my boy Tyler want to say, man, the Lord going to have mercy on Israel regardless. <laughs> you know, when you get through with your opinion and what you think and trying to find a precept, that, you know, you got a replacement, you know, theology amongst these Christians. Okay? Nah, man, the Lord is, is eventually going to have mercy on his people, man, starting with a remnant. Okay? The elect. Isaiah 14 and 1 said, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Israelite foreigners. Okay? Which in this time, man, we 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 all been likened to Israelite foreigners, man. We all in, in, in strange lands. Okay, away from Jerusalem, man. But the Lord has chosen Jacob, and now we're being joined back to our power. We've been drawn back to, 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 to their lineage, man, to that, I mean, to their legacy, man. Okay? And it says, verse 2, it says, And the people shall take them, and this is speaking of the heathen, and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land, uh, in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Okay, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Okay, turning misery into joy. <laughs> okay, you see that? And this is the coming theme. Let's get that in Baruch. Well, let's get this in John. In St. John, then we get that in Baruch. It's the book of St. John, chapter 16, verse 20. All right, this is um St. John 16 and 20. said, Verily, verily, I say unto you that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice. Okay? Because these heathens have rejoiced at our fall, man, because they get the rule and do as thou wilt. They get the perks and the benefits of the earth. They become wealthy. You know, the, the, the upper echelon, these heathens, they become wealthy based on our uh, uh, downfall, man. Okay? It says, and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. Yeah, as we have came into this truth, man. As we've been comforted by this word, and now we're seeing the transition take place. So now our sorrow is turning into joy. It says a woman, uh, when she is in travail, have sorrow because her hour is come. Okay? But as soon as she is delivered, because we finna go through that straight gate. Okay? But our kingdom is, is finna be birthed in the earth, man. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembers no more the anguish for the joy that a man is born into the world. And what comes through the men? An inheritance. Okay, <laughs> we ain't we finna be those joint heirs, man. It says, and ye 
Now, therefore, have sorrow, but I will see you again, okay, in the chariots, man, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man take it from you, okay? <laughs> you see that? So let's, um, let's go back to Tobit. All right, the point was made on that. Um, Tobit 13. I think I like it. All right, he's back in Tobit 13 and says, and many nations shall come from far to the name of the Lord our power with the gifts in their hands, even gifts to the king of heaven. All generations shall praise with great joy. Okay? A tribute, man. And, there, and there's promise. All right? There's prophecy that these nations, you know, will have to pay tribute, man. <laughs> you see? In fact, let's get that in there. In the blue letter. Mm. All right, let's get this in uh, the book of Isaiah. Chapter 60. Okay. I read verse 10 again and read down. It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy wall. They're going to build our physical kingdom. And then we're going to go into the infrastructure of that kingdom where it's going to be built out of, man. And the king shall minister unto thee, servants. For in, in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Okay? Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and that their kings may be brought. Okay, because the things that the kingdom is going to be built out of, man, these they, they, it's going to be built out of the earth resources, man. The precious stones, all right, and the precious metals, man. All right, and the choice wood. Okay. So you go into the word forces, all right, which is in, in Hebrew is Hayal okay which it goes into what wealth okay and also their ability which is their a hey, their labor and their efficiency man their labor man okay and their wealth is going to be brought to us man okay it says whether of men it says probably of forces as whether of men means or other resources okay goods might which is their labor riches you see <laughs> okay let's go here this is zechariah 14 and 14 and it says and judah also shall fight at jerusalem okay because who's the ultimate judah it's coming back. Yahweh shot. Okay. And he, the, the valley of Jehoshaphat, that's in the region over there by Israel, man. Okay. It says, and, and he's going to spoil the earth. And on the Lord will, will that number. All right. Lord will, will with those first fruits, man. We're going to be, we're going to partake in, in the spoils. And the wealth of all the heathen round about shall be gathered together, gold, silver, apparel, in great abundance. Okay, we're from the we see we're from the coming to. That's why, you know, we spoke about the other day a above way of thinking. Okay, we're going to exist on the whole. We, see, we from experience wealth on a whole another level. Okay, it ain't gonna be you know you're not gonna be able to Google. How much a brother is worth, man? It, 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 it's gonna be ungoogleable. <laughs> you know, Google ain't gonna exist, okay? But a brother's wealth, a hey, pretty much not gonna be able to just, you know, you're not gonna be able to define it because it's gonna be so much, and it's gonna be a continual flow, a continual increase, man, for that brother's house, man. Okay. So let's go back here to uh, the book of Tobit. 
you know. Hopefully I'll get some more. I'll go back to that in a minute. All right, so this is back in the book of Tobit, chapter 13. All right, and 11 said, meaning nations shall come from far, all right, to the name of the Lord power with gifts in their hands, even gifts to the king of heaven. All generations shall praise thee with great joy. Cursed are all they which hate thee, and we know the top of their list is who Esau, Edom, and blessed shall all be which love thee forever and eventually these nations are going to uh grow the love okay righteousness they're going to see the benefits of righteousness man these other nations are going to see that man okay and they're going to have the blessing to enjoy a a a, a, a uh, the planet earth being ran in righteousness man you know without a thousand years they're going to be able to have you know lands you know and, and establishments okay but it's all going to be they're, they're going to eternally be subjugated to us man okay it said rejoice and be glad for the children of the just for they shall be gathered together and shall bless the lord of the just oh bless are they which love thee for they shall rejoice in thy peace bless are they which have been sorrowful for all thy scourges yeah these punishments we went through man for they shall rejoice for thee we serve a merciful power he's righteous man okay when they have seen all thy glory they shall be glad forever let my soul bless the most high the great king for jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones thy wild thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold okay and the streets of jerusalem shall be paved with barrel and carbuncle and stones of ophir and all her streets shall say hallelujah and they shall praise him saying bless all right be the most high which have exalted it forever so our infrastructure is going to be built with precious stones man the kingdom is going to be a glory that the earth has never seen a beauty that the earth has never seen you know and just the vibration of the other kingdom is going to be on a completely different level than anything here man and those stones are technology man okay those stones are technology man and we're going to and we're going to witness the lord's technology man through those stones man like the the the, the kingdom is going to be on such a, a a elevated frequency above this bs you know that that people think you know this is good as it gets like nah man we have a, we got a completely new <laughs> you know we got a completely you know new glory all right to experience man you know it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 54. This is on um, Isaiah 54 and 11. It says, O thou tossed with tempest and not comforted that's us man and we wasn't comforted until what man the word came man okay the spirit of you i was shot okay it said behold i will lay thy stones with fair colors and lay thy foundations with sapphires man man the, the, the oh man the, the kingdom is going to be crazy you know and then we're going to have all these resources man and the women you know that the um the wives you know brothers wives are going to have servants under them and they're going to be decorate with, with no limit you know as, as brothers you know you might mention you know how you want you know tell her how you want this you know and just be able to turn a hey, as a man like that's going to be a glory you know just to be able to turn your wife loose man you know to decorate you know this estate in this province you know decorate this part of you you know because right now a woman you know she'll you know she'll decorate you know the hell out of her apartment you know out of the house you know the patio okay you get zebo you know that you know you know turn a woman loose man a woman you know that has a little you know skill and get up and go by herself man 
you know, you turn a loose man, they can go at it, man. You know, according to you know your capability as a man or your substance, you know, they 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 you know you can turn them loose and they can go at it. So imagine it in the kingdom, man. You know, if they're gonna be they, when they're changed, they, their wisdom is gonna be increased, you know. <laughs> it'll be beautiful, man. It says, I will make thy windows of air gates and thy gates of carbuncles and all thy borders of pleasant stones. Okay. <laughs> you see that? And all thy children shall be taught the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children, man. And all our people going to be righteous, man. All they're going to see is righteous. All it's going to be is a, a, a perfect righteous influence, all right, amongst our people, man. No more dysfunction, no more defilements, you know. Nah, man. Everything is going to be refreshed, okay? <laughs> Let's get this in Revelation. You know, we'll end it here. All right. It's Revelation um 21 and 18. And it says, And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stone. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth of an emerald. All right, and these are all the stones that are in the um that was that was in the ephod of the high priest. Jerusalem is going to be like a big ephod, man. I'm screech of gold, man. The, the vibration <laughs> it says the Phil Sardinics, and see, we're gonna understand how all these things work perfectly, how they work together. The six sardius, the seven uh chrysolite, the eight barrel, the ninth of topaz, the tenth of chrysol. Um, Prices the 11 of Jason and the 12 of Amethyst. Okay, it says, uh, and the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every several gate was a one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold and it was transparent glass. Okay, <laughs> this is this, this is what we got to look forward to, man. And this is how infrastructure, this is how we're going to build, man. On a whole new level, man. You know, so that was the point. You know, I just wanted to bring that understanding about the kingdom of the Most High. What does that mean? You know, you people say the kingdom of God, kingdom of God. Well, what does that mean? Okay, because Christians say the law done away with. Well, what's going to be the standard in the kingdom? Okay, the law it's going to be in righteousness, man. You know, the kingdom of God is 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 the. the kingdom of israel in the earth man because we're his sons man and we're going to be all about the father's business in our rulership man and that's establishing righteousness man forever okay so lord will i know you brothers all right and you sisters edify once again give all praise and glory unto the how will by shimmy how shall by shimmy the honors unto the apostles and the elders, GMS, who rule well, teach well, be a great example to all these younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations to the whole collective. Shalom.